A family is reunited after six decades. Thanks to a greeting card and a leap of faith. Eyewitness News reporter Walt Buto has more in this week's Street Story. These three sisters tell us they knew they were related before any of them even said a word. As the jet touched down from Florida. Where they have to walk from. No. We're sure it's this flight. I'm so excited. The big sister waited for the little sister. Or at the gate. She'd never met. My stomach is going. Peter, oh. It was about 60 years ago when Sally's mom gave Lorna up for adoption. There's my sister right there. Sally! Oh, oh It was just amazing to see, to finally see her, who I have not my own very own sister. Oh, you were beautiful! You were beautiful! <laughs> oh, what about me? Middle sister Diane, who lives in Florida, got this all started with a customized card similar to this one. I sent her a greeting card saying we, I think we may be related. Lorna, who lives in Arizona, was skeptical at first. But when I read it, she knew facts that no one else would have known. I knew my last name was going to be Hart, and hers was signed with the last name of Hart. So a couple of weeks later, Lorna responded with an email. I had been on vacation, so that's why she didn't hear for so long. I flipped when I saw the name. So I wrote to her and told her who I was, and I said, it would be really great if you could call me. And I held my breath the minute I pressed send. <laughs> the rest, well, it's history. Isn't this so cool? As in their history and now their future together. The joy that she would take that leap of faith to get in touch with me. It's just amazing. I just thought it was a miracle. I really did. As I felt we had already been friends our whole lives. And they tell us their next reunion, whether in Rhode Island, Florida, or Arizona, will not be decades away. On Post Road in Warwick, Walt Buteau, Eyewitness News.